Patch 14.7 is right around the corner, and we have a bunch of changes to discuss, ranging from buffs to Silas Jungle, more nerfs to Volley Bear, and the extinction of Rel Jungle, along with a few item alterations. The patch is set to go live April 3rd, so let's get you guys set up with everything you need to know. And if you want to improve and rank up fast, we've done a massive update, adding all brand new courses for Season 14 on our website, skillcap.com. And if that's not enough, we upload 10 new Smurf commentaries every week, where a challenger teaches you how to play every champion in the exact rank you're stuck in. The best part, you can try all of this out completely risk-free. If you don't rank up while actively using Skillcapped, you get your money back, no questions asked. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to get the rank you've always wanted. Alright, now let's start off the video by covering all of the item changes, and first up we have Bloodsong. Bloodsong has been the highest win rate support item upgrade in recent patches, so it's being targeted with a nerf. The Spellblade base AD ratio is dropping from 150 to 100%. Imperial Imperial Mandate will be toned down a notch for 14.7, with its passive current health damage being lowered from 12 to 10%. Zazak's Realm Spike will be nerfed a significant amount for next patch, as the base damage is going down from 20 to 10. Max health damage will be dropping from 4 to 3%, and to top it all off, the cooldown will be increased from 8 scaling to 6 seconds to a flat 10 seconds at all levels. This should be the nerf that pushes Enchanter supports like Janna away from running Realm Spike and instead onto Dreammaker. We've seen Static Shiv make a huge pushback into the meta over the past patch, so Riot's not wasting any time at all to issue a nerf. The price of Static Shiv is going back up from 2700 to 2900 gold, which is a pretty big hit as the low cost was one of the big draws to the item. Riot completely overshot with the Galio nerfs in 14.6, so they have a few follow-up buffs for this patch. Passive AP ratio is being increased from 40 to 45%. W base damage reduction is up by 5% at all ranks. E base damage is going up as well by 15 at all ranks. Karma support has fallen into a pretty bad spot after the recent nerfs that were aimed towards Karma mid, so they're buffing her in 14.7. RE secondary shield will be buffed by around 22%. W root duration is going up from 1.4 to 1.6 seconds at rank 1. Blue Kane got decimated last patch by the nerf, so Riot's throwing back in a buff to help him out. Q bonus 80 ratio for base and assassin forms will be increased from 80 to 85%. A few buffs are on the way to help out mid lane Lux with her passive AP ratio going up from 25 to 30%. Q AP ratio will see a boost as well, being increased from 60 to 65%. We have a couple of interesting Nasus buffs for the next patch, with its passive lifesteal being increased. Q damage is going up as well by 10 at all ranks. Riot's looking to bring some life back to Olaf Jungle in 14.7, as they're giving his Q bonus monster damage. W duration is also being increased from 4 to 5 seconds. W mana cost is up, however, from 30 to 50. E cooldown refund will be increased from from 1 to 2 seconds, but against monsters only, and R will now have a mana cost as it's going from 0 up to 100. It's not just Olaf that Riot wants back in the jungle for 14.7 as they're buffing up Silas jungle as well. Q monster damage is what's being increased as it's going from 40 to 70%. Smolder went from the most broken ADC to one of the worst in the span of a patch, so Riot has plans to buff him back up in 14.7. Armor is being increased from 24 to 26. Q crit ratio is going up from 30 to 50%. A pretty big Fiora nerf is penciled in for next patch, with her base AD being lowered from 68 to 65. As a Trinity Force user, this nerf hurts Fiora much more than it would a lot of other champions, as the passive damage from Trinity scales off 200% of your base AD. Top lane Rek'Sai has made a push into the meta throughout 14.6, so Riot is issuing a small nerf for next patch. Passive healing will be reduced from 12 scaling to 20% max health, to 10 scaling to 20% max health. Rel Jungle is being put in a blender for 14.7, as Riot's removing all of the bonus monster damage from her spells. Magic resist growth is going up however from 1.85 to 2.05, which is a bit of a random buff. Another Volley Bear nerf will be headed to live servers, with his R cooldown being increased from 140 to 160 seconds at rank 1, and Q will now crit for total AD instead of total ability damage. Some changes to Camille are being issued for next patch that are aimed at nerfing support Camille while keeping top lane Camille in check. Q movement speed is going up from 30 scaling to 40% to 30 scaling to 50%. Q cooldown is buffed but at the later ranks only. W outer cone damage is up by 1% at all ranks. E damage is going down from 80 to 60 at rank 1, which is the big change to nerf support Camille. And of course, the Bloodsong changes will also negatively affect the viability of Camille in the support role. Riot will be nerfing the damage output of Nami for the next patch, however, they're buffing her heal. W damage is going to be lowered, E damage is dropping as well, but W heal is being 
being increased. Riot is going in a similar direction with the Sona changes as they are adjusting her damage but buffing her utility. Q plus passive amp is going from 40 to 50 percent. Q aura AP ratio is down from 20 to 10 percent. W heal AP ratio is being bumped up from 15 to 30 percent. E ally movement speed is buffed from 10 scaling to 14 percent to 10 scaling to 18 percent. And remember if you truly want to improve and rank up fast head on over to skillcap.com. We've done a massive update adding all brand new courses for season 14 and we upload 10 new smurf commentaries each week where a challenger teaches you how to play every champion in the exact rank you're stuck in. And you can try all of this out completely risk-free since if you don't rank up while actively using skill capped you'll get your money back no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to get the rank you've always wanted this season. All right, and that's what we're looking at as we prepare for patch 14.7 to drop on April 3rd. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.